country that we love so much doesn't win anymore. We don't win with the military. We don't win on the border. We don't win with health care. We don't win with trade. If I'm elected president, we will win and we will win and we will win. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was Donald Trump during last night's GOP debate, channeling DJ Collin with his insistence on nonstop victory, I'm going to win, win, win. But the primary season is rarely so clean. Take Senator Ted Cruz. Sure. At first glance, Cruz's numbers, you know, it looks like he won in Iowa. It certainly looks impressive. But only in politics can you finish first and still not quite win. Take a look at the Iowa exit polls. Now, it's clear that Ted Cruz won Iowa because he won among voters who described themselves as very conservative. But take a look at those who describe themselves as somewhat conservative or moderate. Cruz falls way behind, trailing the candidate who surpassed expectations in Iowa to land strong within spitting distance of Cruz and Donald Trump at that number three spot. Now, you know who I'm talking about. There he was on caucus night with his wife and kids looking victorious and, dare I say, rather presidential, even in defeat. And polling at second place in New Hampshire. So can you feel the mark momentum? Well, maybe not anymore after last night because, you know, although he roared out of Iowa, Senator Marco Rubio, let's say, struggled in Saturday night's debate in New Hampshire as the GOP governors targeted him and his inexperience. So obviously you guys were talking about this last night. I mean, talking about what this looked like last night. How big of a, I mean, clearly he really did look like the winner out of Iowa, even though he came in third. Ted Cruz, even though he won, looked awfully weak. Where do you think Marco will end up? He's oh. going to end up out of the top three because of this performance in New Hampshire. He crushed himself. Well, Chris Christie really crushed him. And it was right out of the gate. And you could see it coming. It was like a slow pitch that you could see coming. And it just killed him. And I little, when, when he kept repeating himself was that, without Obama line, yeah, I was thought, the worst. It, it was like, really, yeah, it was, was really that bad. I thought he was maybe having a breakdown. Like, and it reminded me of the 1960 uh, Richard Nixon moment. He started sweating. His makeup came off. I mean, it was really bad. And what's worse about it is I'm hearing now. Was it worse than the little water bottle? And <laughs> it was, it was, water it was, it was, yeah. yeah. Absolutely like that. And I'm yeah. hearing that the establishment on the Republican side now is in the, taking another look and saying, can we really support this guy? And with them, look out for Jeb Bush or Chris Christie. Well, well, no, think, so it's Super Bowl Sunday, though. And isn't it true that sometimes you get that one loss? Like, you, you actually don't want to go into the Super Bowl with the perfect season, right? You actually don't want to go in undefeated. You need a loss to kind of pull yourself back together. I like Marco. Well, it's well, the only, I think the only reason he may have actually done as well as he did in Iowa is potentially because uh, Donald Trump pulled out of that last debate and he took some of his voters. That might be the case. Mm -hmm. But I like what Axelrod said last night that Chris Christie went full New Jersey. <laughs> he did. <laughs> he did. He, New it, New was, it was real Jersey. Talk, I mean, yes, the man may have some great message discipline, but it did not resonate at all. With and what I think uh, Rubio, Rubio, also, it fell completely with Rubio also, you know, he had this momentum going into New Hampshire, but I was still not totally quite buying it because immigration is such a huge issue mm -hmm. in New Hampshire, mm -hmm. oddly enough. And I, I think that this debate chipped away Way at his invincibility mm -hmm. because it hit it hit immigration and it yeah. also just that moment with Christie was so bad. And for he even him. flip flopped on his football pick. He did. He, said he was going to like Denver, yep. but now because Jeb sure. Bush, who used to be his mentor and he used to look up yeah. to, but now he doesn't. He like he which like is Denver, also so he picked well, Carolina. Also, I think it's sort of sad. The prodigal son thing is so well, not, sad. But that said, sometimes people are running when they're running for president. They're actually running for different kinds of things, right? Sometimes right. people are running for HUD secretary. Strangely enough, <laughs> but <laughs> isn't it also possible that part of what Marco Rubio is doing here is running for vice president, right? Like that, you know, it, it seems pretty clear that that really whether Sanders or um, Clinton win that nomination on the Democratic side, it is highly likely going to be actually the HUD secretary, um, Mr. Castro, who is very likely to end up the VP pick on the Democratic side. Mm -hmm. Marco doesn't make a bad VP pick, right? As a young guy with that beautiful family kind of demonstrating the, you know, diversity on the on the Republican side, he doesn't make a bad VP pick. We tried pick. the young guy thing with a good family, not diversity. We tried Paul Ryan last time. You can't just yeah. A VP but then, I wouldn't even and also it Rubio. It listen, if you look at the polling in Florida, Rubio right. doesn't do that well. What I thought was most important, most interesting, are those numbers you showed in Iowa. Thirty-five percent of moderates broke for Donald Trump. 
What does that tell you? That tells you that he really is appealing to a much broader spectrum. You're killing me with the Donald other Trump. Other Are y'all really going to nominate I'm, Donald I'm, Trump for the right, U.S. presidency? Right now, he's, I mean, if you look at any betting in Las Vegas, he's sad. definitely the safe bet. Sir, that's are the they world. really going to nominate bet. Donald Trump I, for the U.S. presidency? There's more than a, a fair chance of that happening. More than 50 And, 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 and last yeah. night plays to that. I mean, I think it's, that's why it's so important. I never want to overstate yeah. or, or go into hyperbole sure. for a single debate. Sure. But the time last night, it was Rubio's chance. He had it coming mm. out of Iowa with momentum. Yeah. He's feeling real momentum. And New Hampshire voters, as we talked about before, a lot of them are undecided. They're they're, they're finicky. They're going to wait mm -hmm. and they're going to look. And if you if they wanted electability, mm -hmm. and a lot of Republicans want electability, and that moment last night when he had a chance to, to sway some of those voters and really say that they can coalesce around him, he dropped the ball. Well, that's why I think that's why I think that's why I think Ted Cruz won Iowa because they feel that he's closer to Donald Trump in terms of ideology, but yeah. he's actually also electable. So and that's why he I think Iowa because he's but, but, no, but, 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 but I also think Cruz had disappeared last night. Didn't you feel like he disappeared? I do think I do think he disappeared. But I do think he disappeared last night. But I think also Republicans like to see Donald Trump on stage because he's saying a lot of things that Republicans Cruz is want people to say. But I can't imagine that they want him to be president. Well, listen, if you look if you look at the polling in most states where you've seen recent polling, right? South Carolina, Florida, going to Super Tuesday. And again, all we can go on is the polls now. And you know, polls could be wrong. But Trump is winning state after state after state. Cruz is not a national candidate. Cruz is a national. Well, okay, we don't do mansplaining. It in, in, in HP show. We don't give you a minute at okay, least. Go ahead. No. Yeah, uh, no, Cruz has been running the best campaign by far, though, of all candidates. And we did see yeah, in Iowa where that really matters. You look at what Cruz is doing with data, and it's absolutely mm, incredible. That's true. He that's had true. 77 oh, micro mm, points yeah. that in mattered Iowa, to yeah. Iowa voters. He had honed in on, I think, 30 people who supported states' fireworks for laws. Yeah. Like, if he's doing it, yes, yeah, this campaign is really amazing, yeah. going hyper deep with hyper-data-driven. Oh, so if yes. that matters, the last Ted Cruz is a nerd. Who knew? Two people to win <laughs> Iowa, though. The yeah. two guys you showed just Oh, yeah, out. who just dropped out. That's right. Yeah. Iowa doesn't matter for y'all. Iowa, Iowa is way. not as big of a deal as it seems. Up next, the Republicans.